This is one of the large properties I look after. This is the swimming pool room. So you've got that boiler the swimming pool. That one that does the swimming pool radiators and the pool bar, stuff like that. Yeah, there's the indoor swimming pool. And we've got another boiler in there as well. Three boilers on this one. This one's losing pressure. Um, I've just been outside. Tries to feel PRV pipe outside. And yeah, it's drip, 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 drip. Out of there. So he's having to come in top fresh up all the time. So I'm going to do open it up. And yeah, it's going to be the PRV, but there's a reason the PRV's letting by. I'll show you inside. Welcome back, YouTube. We are back after the Easter break. We've had jobby in episode. Now, one of the jobs in there is supposed to be a bread and butter job, nice and easy. However, it can turn into a bit of an headache if you don't do this simple test. So take a look at that one. Hopefully, that one will help you out. So I want to say again, thank you for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. We are on the final steps to the 10K. I said at 10K, I'll do a giveaway. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helped me out. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you like the video. Let's take a look at this week's job being episode. Okay, so. There it is, PRV. Oh, it's plastic. Different to the one I've got. It's like built in that is. Mm. Okay, so what we can do is actually drain it from there, just because it's coming out anyway. Turn the pair off. I'm just going to open the PRV. We really get that replaced. Check the vessel. Let's get this dog out of the way. Actually, it's just a pin back in there. Make life. I was going to say make life easy for us, but there we go. Trap was in the way. Get that out of the way. Open that. Maybe not. Oh, oh there we go. I'll turn it one way. Right, so water's nearly off all out of the boiler now. Uh, we'll give this a try. I got it off Amazon for 20 quid. It's called Up Boost. It's like a little portable um, air inflator. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd give it a try. Why not? I might get a longer lead for you. Um, the one off my foot pump might work, but yeah. What you do, set it to whatever you want. I think I've got to set to one bar. Turn it on, big noise there, but yeah, it's good down flavors. Yeah, all I've done with that is just keep the PRV open manually with my fingers. Let that go up to around one bar. And I've just dropped a little bit, so I'm actually that I'm just to make sure that vessel's okay. But yeah, that was an absolute steal, 20 quid. Good thing about it as well. Fits in my velocity bag. Guys in that pouch there. So now I've got a fold up bucket, pressure guide, um, foot pump, sorry, electric pump. So when I come to services, stuff like that now, I've got everything in my bag to, yeah, to do the job. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just undo this, get the old one out and uh, get the new one in. Just got my big grips in, undone it. And we'll just take that out now. So it should all be drained. Ooh. See all that one's fell, it's got a lot of muck on it. You'll probably find that vessel's been flat for a while. That's been passing for a while, and yeah, it's just gone there. So you can clean them up if you want to, but I'm going to honest with you, while I'm here, I've got the part, the part was like 10 quid, so I might as well just stick a brand new one in. Old oh, one, new one, dead simple, just screw it in. And now the vessel's charged all up. That should be a lot better now. Maybe all good to get to though. I don't really like you can get onto that. I've just got to get my grips over it and tighten it up. Just have to be careful not to damage it. There you go. That, that did all the four point out. Just put it up to near enough one. What do you guys put your expansion vest up to? Well, I've been taught one bar always. I mean, it should tell you on the side there. You know I mean, they put the sticker there. But yeah, I've always just gone up to one bar. Do any different? Let me know in the comments. But let's get that off. Sorry about that. Anyway. Uh, we've got it off now. Put some bubbles on there. Ooh, look at that. It's bubbling. No good. Now, what you can do sometimes is actually do that a few times and it'll reseal. That one ain't it. That one looks like he's had it. So I've actually got this little set, trader set. Uh, it's got all the valves in there that you need, little tool. So I'm gonna get that replaced. Uh, 
So all that air is going to come out. Room entrance. Make sure the board is empty before you do this. I think you're going to get wet. There we go. That's it. Out. Let's get a new one in. That's what it looks like, the valve. See when you push it in, it opens up. So yeah, I'm just gonna get that replaced. For the new one, get that in. There we go. Need to get your tool. Tighten them in, there you go. That's it, it's a two minute job. Two minute job that is, just to check that. If it has gone, get it replaced, and then we can get the pump back on, get that reinflated. There you go, back up to the beta bar. Let's get you off. some balls on. There you go. Lovely. Let's get the cap back on. When I worked at British Gas, you won't believe how many callbacks people got or how many expansion vessels were ordered just because of that little tiny valve that costs pittance. So yeah, I always check them, always check them. So you'll get a callback saying it's still doing the same thing. Pressure's going sky high and the PRV is dripping. It's because that valve's passing. So you might do the expansion, put the cap back on to that's all done. A week later you get the same phone call. I've actually known people just do all the expansion vessels, so I want to see the expansion vessel then. It's not it's that tiny little valve and say so you keep set on your van, dead easy to do, save your customer fortune, save you in a day. Yeah. Well you know eh? uh, anyway, let's get this border filled back up, new PRV on. That should be good to go. It turns out I'll put the wrong valve in. One idiot, it's that one. It's slightly bigger and more of a spring in it. As soon as I filled it up, I noticed that the pressure was dropping and it was still leaking. So let's drain it all back down and put the right one in. Never mind. Never mind. We all make mistakes. I've got two of them on the van. That one and obviously that one. Picked up the wrong one. Oh, yeah, that looks like the one. New PRV in, happy days. I mean, that diverter is an absolute choke. Push it that way, it's a trap. So I thought, oh, no, I'll do. I'll take it, let's get it there. Try it this side. Nope, that's in the way. Does it go in top or bottom? No, I mean, it'd be easier if it went in at the top there. I mean, imagine if they designed it so the clip was there. Another crab glow worm design. I mean, it's oh, the spice you got in there. Loads of spice, but that's a crap idea. Plastic manifold, not the best. Plastic manifold again, not the best. Anyway, 26.9 checks on this now. A little bit more pressure in there. Yeah, that should be job done. So to get this in service mode, press the reset button, hold the mold at the same time. I couldn't do one of these, but press that, hold the mold, it'll put P1, and you've got all your settings there. So P1, click mold again. That'll put it to low. Then you can adjust it from there. Back on mile, hold down plus, and that'll put it into high. And you do your high and low from there on this boiler. That fan does sound good, does it? That one all done, another job all done. I'd say that's took me about 45 minutes. Um, yeah, that little shader valve, always make sure you check it. Bit of bubbles. The amount of callbacks, like I said, that I've seen on them is ridiculous, and people just all do new expansion vessels. That tiny little valve, so yeah, that tiny little valve can end up costing you an headache and costing the customer money. Yeah, that's a more subtle tip on them. And uh, so yeah, let's have a look at the next job. I always get worried when I walk out of here, I'm just gonna step onto the pool. I ain't doing it yet, but I'll know one these days, I'm gonna do it. A bit tight there. Anyway, on to the next job. All right, so this one, we've got a leak on the toilet, and it's coming from, you can see. <sighs> on there, I think it's the um, Donald washer. So, turn it off here. And yeah, fuck again, it out somewhere. I think I can undo that flex thing. So go. Yeah, it's only hand toy. Undo that, it's gonna get wet. Yeah. Flex is off now, it was only hand toy. There's two bolts and right underneath here. Let me just see if we get an angle on it. Just there, you see him next to the inlet valve? Just there. There's one the other side as well. My phone is absolutely sold now, but one did them too, and that should just pull off. So yeah, turn off me. I've got it's going to be screwed to the wall, so under them two screws, then it will come off. 
Yeah, the drip belt will allow us to condemn the back side. So we need to get sort and sew it in. Seal, seal, she went on there. Got a new seal, pop that on, put it back on. That's it, that should be job done. One thing we're going to do is put some proper fixings in the wall because then we'll just um, screw straight into the plasterboard. Now you'll put it on, you can see, look at the gap there. That farm seal will just compress, so you should get the wing nuts on, put it down, tighten them back on. That'll make the seal. That's it all back together, proper screws put in. All filled up, let's give it a try. So far, so good. I'll just give that a few flushes, see what happens. Yeah, just done a few flushes on that. Absolutely fine, mate. Eh? New Donald Russia, 20 minute job. Happy days, all done. Well, so on this one, we've got a gas ray one to do. Um, because my phone's up, they had kind of extra smell gas and they've kept it off on the meter there. Um, just so to get the border working, but they've been better quicker. So, let me show you where the meter is, the route we're going to take, and here we're going to do it. So, this is the meter underneath here. See, I've just got a toilet test on. Now, people see me with a U gauge, so why do I use a manometer? I just prefer a water gauge. Anyway, you can see that it's been capped off there. It's the old iron that's um, leaking. Um, it tees off through there, and it goes just there, into this boxing up and the borders above me. So, that's the gas pipe there that goes all the way around the back of the cupboards to the cooker. So what I'm thinking is, we can get this off, um, pop a tee out there, cross the wall, down, back onto there. That's what I'm thinking. Um, now, I can't get too close to the ceiling because it's got these polystyrene tiles on. If I catch that with the blow, it's all going to go up. So, I said to her, it's going to come somewhere like there. Um, yes, it ain't going to look the prettiest, but it's the best I could do. The only other route that I suggested was get a tee off there, the hole through the tile, through here, up, across, down, and back onto that pipe. But when I quite with that, it was a lot more, obviously, than just doing the way I did. So it did come down to budget on this one, which is fine. Absolutely fine. I said the map here with the pipe there, going down there. So yeah, tightness tested on timer. Once that's done, I could do that now. Let's get this off. Let's see what I'm working with. Oh man, that is going to be tight. Okay. All right. So I've just took all these cable ties off. Then the clips, there's no clipping size. This is so tight. I mean, super tight. I think what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to get the multi tool in there and cut that section out. Uh, this section I'll come forward, so I'll cut the teeth, then I might have to foil, or if you've got enough on the down, pull it out and cut it. So I've got a clean cut, then come across. I ain't gonna get it no higher than that, man. It is super tight. I can't get above this knee because it's the bath. <sighs> so, yeah, let's try that. All right, you can see we've cut through it, but we've also cut the plastic. It's because it was vibrating against the pipe here, so I'd rather have cut that and then cut through that because then I would have had a whole new problem on my hands. So, I'll just mark the pipe, get a T in there, I can bring it across and down onto that pipe. But yeah, that was a bit of a pain. Now, if you've got a pipe like that, you need to get behind it. So it is really tight, but you can get like a flat blade or something, and we've managed to put it out a little bit just to get behind it and get the foiling, clean it up. Yeah, we get in there now, get a teen. Okay, so we've got the teen now. We've put a set on the pipe, two clips above the doorway. So we should be able to now just slide that into there. I'll do it one handed. Oh, I should have a little bit tight, come on. Come on, here you go. There we go. There we go. We mean, there's a button down here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I've just got to hold that in now. I think it was harder to get me a proof map behind there than it was to get the boy in. Uh, that part's got to come up now. Yeah, should be on the bottom mark and it keeps falling down to there. So I might get something under there just to wedge it up and 
get that soldered in. Believe it or not, that's the hard bit done. Let me try to multi tool that off, bring it down and in. Uh, probably extend that pipe out to maybe there. Yeah, solder that in. Happy days, that's in. As you see, it has melted the plastic there. Melted the plastic there. Started to melt it up there, so I did get a uh, forest in shape and just spray it off there just in case because it was getting quite hot. But yeah, I'll just have a flame on really low, trying to sweat these in. Yeah, not the best solder. I'm going to agree, it's crap solding, but covers going to go back on there. Yeah, you can see. No leaks, that's what I want on that. So that's all in. I'll sort that out in a bit. See what we can do with that. But yeah, we're in my cluster there now. So we're just going to bring it down the wall there, cut that pipe, connect on. So I managed to multi tool through that. Um, piece pipe that's coming out at an angle. I managed to leave that there in the back of it just to get the pipe slice so on, make a nice clean cut now. Bring it across here and up to there. That's all cleaned off, ready to go. And then put a plug in there, plug in there. Straight down. I'm going to show you one of my biggest pet hates with myself. It's working in a mess. Now, I always do this. I think, well, I'll try to do it once I've done this. Then I'll do that. Then I'll do that. I end up working like this. So I'm going to stop, tidy all this up, then carry on. There we go. Better working environment now. So, um, clips in the wall, piping, put a bit of a bend on that just to kick it off the wall. So I see it's getting straight against the wall there. Coupler, elbow, straight up, rubber up on there. That's it, really popped. It's all done. Just take my hands on. It's only about actually pressing really out, you don't get dirty hands on that, but yeah, do that. Then we'll move on to the gas meter. So we're gonna repipe a section of that. There we go. So we finished up on the gas meter. Just got the tightness test on at the moment. So new bit of pipe, new meter connection, straight across, boom, straight into there. Uh, new earth clamp on there. So yeah, that's got rid of that lead, tied it up a bit in there. Um, yeah, so I'll say if I see lead, I don't really say, well, if I'm doing the gas, I might as well just get rid of the lead. It's not a nice solid connection in there now. Um, I have actually been in here, and that was a shit. Um, I've actually been in here and put that back on. Um, see, I've just cut, had to cut a little hole out of there. Um, and it comes across now, above the door, down and into there. There we go, and so that bit there, that was sticking out, look, it melted, I managed to clip it back in, I've had to take a bit of side out of there, but what I was given, that ain't too bad day, um, I said it is exposed and that, but I say there's two quotes on this one, one to put it through the wall, one to do it like that, so yeah, there's a shower stove like that, so we'll be happy now that we can commission and test the cooker, get that back on, and what have I forgot to do with my darkness test? Open the lid, come on, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. So yeah, I'm gonna restart my tightness test now. So a little job on this one as well, it's to cap off that gas fire. So that's very nice to be took out for an electric. In the kitchen, cooker's all done. You see the gas is on. Safety device working all fine. So visual check on that, visual check on the boil upstairs. Pipe up there, that's all back on. There we go, customer's got a cooker now. Happy days. <laughs>